old flames uh, that from old time, even for people who are old, can sometimes create a spark. And also, to do a duty uh, of family honor is not always what is happening. The angry enemy fan, the despair of you, are here with Amphibia episode 11's gr Grubhop Day and Hop Hop and Luck. So, Ground Hop Day is the fact that there's going to be a special festival in the in the tow town or uh, in Amphibia where they're going to slaughter some kind of grub hog and uh, for an, but while someone actually watches over that grub hog so hop up in order to redeem the family name that there's so many embarrassing things including the fact that well he was unemployed decides to uh, force Sprig to do it so while um, Anne uh, helps him by doing some little toxic friend installations it almost, uh, it of course does not end so very good and it even becomes worse when um, Sprig tries to lose the grub hog and tries to pull up a puppet show in order to do it but in the end though when Hop Hop sees that uh, Sprig come clean and the fact that the mayor talking down on Hop on Sprig yeah, Hop Hop stands up for him and uh, the and the planters manage to save the fan the not only the family names, but also the festival by doing a puppet show instead of slaughtering a grub hog, which uh, Hop Hop always felt was too bad. Uh, with that, they can enjoy the festival. But what happens to the grub hog? Well, from a very strange scene where it turns out the vulture that took it is actually a subject of the grub hog who is saying, "You, I will not forget what you dealt to my people." So where are we going now? To war. So is that meant to be a joke, or is that meant to foreshadow something? <laughs> well, who knows. The next day, chapter though is Hop Up still having a little trouble with the stand after all he was unemployed. Where he runs into Sylvia, an old frog as well as an old flame. He has always had a thing for her, but uh, he lost that moment when she moved away. And he thinks that uh, he wants to make another move on her, especially on the dance. But then he also runs into an old uh, rival of his. It is also revealed that Hop Up's real name is Hapadaya. And the rival's name is Monroe, actually voiced by the talented Paul Idding. His voice sounds pretty um, unexpected here. Oh yeah, and Sylvia's voiced by Mona Marshall, by the way. So, um, so Hop Up says that in order to, she, he can't dance, so he wants to uh, Anne's help to dance. Turns out that Anne is surprisingly very flexible. Well, if she was friends with a sheer leader, then I guess it makes sense for her to do that. She tries her best to teach Hop Up to dance, but the dance is so horrific that when he dances it on the festival, everyone is embarrassed and almost disgusted. But not Mon, but not uh, Felicia, who actually decides to dance along, revealing that she has always had a soft. Uh, Cindy was her name, I mean, which revealing that she's always had a soft spot for the weird ones, and Hop Up is technically a weird one. It is also revealed that Cindy is the mother. Of, uh, of uh, well, Ivy's mother. So it's a family thing there. You know, Ivy, the tomboyish girl that Sprig has a crush on later on. The mother was that the mother's name was Felicia. Either way, Cindy is uh, the mother of that one, and uh, yeah, that is kind of unexpected. I guess the uh, whole family is gonna become family <laughs> in a way. But it's also the fact that she's even pointing out that she's been a very long time she's had the embrace of a man. <laughs> so in the end, the day you do dance, in a very horrifying dance for everyone else, but it does create some heartwarming moments that uh, for the first time ever, Hop Hop defeats his rival Monroe by getting the girl. Even if he had to embarrass himself. So he's just to be himself. And since they may say that she has had a soft spot for the weird ones, which I feel is not exactly a 100% compliment, but it's nice in itself. Give me your faults, if you have any.